right, everybody. I'm going to quickly show you how to take it off. Basically, you can unzip it. One more thing on the coverage that this is the shoe. You can tighten it up as much as you want. You can loosen it up, and then, as you can see, there's a zipper. Hello, everybody. It's been a long time since I made any vlogs. Today is a really cloudy, cold day. But I got out to, uh, first of all, just wanted to make sure that the bikes are running. And especially this one, 1000XR, has not been ridden for a while. The other reason for me to get out today is to test out this Joe Rocket One Piece Survivor suit, which uh, is really, really nice for what I can see as, as far as wearing it and uh, the way it looks, the way it is built everything seems good uh, now the test is does it function as intended to be that all season type of suit the be best part about this is so you can just put it on on top of whatever you're wearing that's really very easy because generally when you start thinking about riding you have to go and change and things like that this one is just ready to go however it depends on the weather right now it's about 50 degrees I think I have one extra layer. So I had a hoodie on top of a t-shirt and then I wore this. I could have done without the hoodie for sure. I'm not sure if it's extremely cold how well this suit is insulated but it does come with an additional layer or lining that insulates it as well as uh, helps with the waterproofing of the overall suit. So the upper layer is water resilient you know light rain doesn't uh, matter even if you don't have the lining but uh, inner layer is actually waterproof and that's how the pockets are too first of all it does have enough pockets that right above your knees and uh, uh, there's another pocket on the left side where a conventional trouser or a jeans would have it so that's helpful it does come with the pads armor I don't know if they are, that's a CE armor or not, but it does come with uh, armored protection for elbows, shoulders, knees, and even in the back there is a pad, uh, padding. I haven't checked what kind, but I hear that it's a regular styrofoam unless you up upgrade it when you buy it to a CE armor type. And this has a really nice mesh at the top of the torso portion and uh, the upper layer folds in a kind of a triangular fashion so you can have a large uh, mesh area to get the airflow going and then it has vents all around so this is by design for all seasons what kind of extreme heat temperatures it can function in because I can see that you know as long as the temperature is in the 80s lower or mid 80s you might be fine but uh, anything above that I'm not sure the other thing is the comfort it is very comfortable the only thing is it runs a little long so if I go if I went with large in this I probably wouldn't be able to get on top of any other clothing or layer or maybe just have a thermal layer type stuff in there not regular clothes so it's a give and take it's a little bit long but with the riding boots it's not that bad at all so overall I think it's it, it's doing a good job and as far as the wind protection I can already feel it in this condition if I was uh, wearing my regular clothing I would be feeling it a little bit more but I can see that if the temperature goes below 30 first of all why do you have to ride in temperatures like that but if you decide to do with proper under layers you may be able to do it yeah it's doing a good job I'm liking it now as far as waterproofing on this suit goes I've seen some good reviews in one of the reviews uh, the, the person mentioned that the uh, when it rained really hard the upper layer got soaked but uh, the lower layer still protected his other clothing so he was dry that at some point if it continuously rains it may it may give up but uh, 
as long as the inner layer is dry, you should be good. Because the upper layer is of a material which is like a quick dry type, so hopefully that will dry sooner. Here's, I will add another section where, you know, I would get out and show you the suit and all the pockets and everything and how it fits from another camera right now. I just thought that this would be a good live impression of how the suit behaves while riding. Follow up on the one piece suit by Joe Rocket. Right now uh, the temperature is uh, below 40 into the 30s and uh, I have actually removed my hoodie which was an additional layer on top of the t-shirt that I was wearing and so far so good because uh, it's a sh short sleeve t-shirt uh, that I have under this and it's fine and it's doing fine uh, if it was any cooler or highway driving I I don't know it may have been better to keep that layer on this can be good for below freezing temperatures this is with no heated gear in on this motorcycle I just have heated grips on my K1600 I have heated seats as well and a little bit better wind protection even though I love the way uh, wind protection is on this bike for the kind of bike this is but uh, overall I think it's it's worth the purchase of this suit based on my initial impressions one more thing on the coverage that this is the shoe you can tighten it up as much as you want you can loosen it up and then as you can see there's a zipper that you can open all the way up to um, here by your knees a little above your knees uh, almost in, uh, to the thigh level this really creates a big convenience so if you're wearing it on top of the clothes uh, you can just unzip it and then and same thing over here so on on both sides on both sides this has it but for me I'm wearing them on regular road boots and uh, all I have to do is just put this and I'm good and I, I'm wearing all the layers right now so I can just show it to you I don't know if the light is enough but hopefully so okay now you can probably see so all I have to do is this I didn't have to unzip it I mean I unzipped it just to show but if I didn't want to it would still have enough room to come over and the lower layer if you're wearing the socks um, and uh, you know the the, the actual uh, lining of this you can uh, tuck it in under your socks and this is the upper layer so all in all very good uh, design very comfortable material is good too flexible enough all right everybody i'm going to quickly show you how to take it off so these are the zippers you unloose uh, i mean you uh, un unzip or loosen up the zip a little bit and then the main zipper goes from here all the way to down there right then you have a secondary zipper for the mesh that I didn't put it on right now but to just take it off first you and this thing it has flexible uh, elasticity in the right areas so just get used to it and uh, once you have done this either you can unzip the side of the pants which I'm not doing right now but then all, all you need is take off the shoes these are road bike shoes so they're not really high I have the inner layer tucked into my sock and the upper layer on top of the sock just uh, that, that I found that to be the best option so in that case I'll have to take the socks off otherwise it would be just a direct and it's 10 seconds that you probably need to put it to take it off and take it off and so all in all, a great piece of equipment, all the vents all around, all the adjustments all around. So according to your size and fitment, 
you, it's, it's got a lot of flexibility. But just remember, if I'm large, I gotta buy extra large. So it, it runs a little long, but it works out fine if you're wearing riding boots. Have a good one, thank you.